All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your fourth MySQL tutorial. And now that we have some data to play with, let's go ahead and play with it. So open up phpMyAdmin by, of course, clicking the link. And once you do, your phpMyAdmin tool should open up. Now, let's go ahead and start with some really simple commands. Now, in order to type in these commands, you always go up to this SQL tab. Now whenever you click it you have this text box that opens up and this is where you're going to be writing your commands. So let's start with something very simple. Type in show databases and once your command is complete just go ahead and click go and check it out. Whenever you hit go it says your SQL query has been executed successfully. If you have any errors in your queries then this is going to be read and it's going to say you know there's error on line 2 or something but anyways what this query does whenever we see show databases it basically lists all of the databases in your server so right now we have information schema or schema however the heck you say it that was already built into MySQL we didn't make that one and we also have Danielle underscore YouTube so if you're just running this for the first time and you want to see what databases your work or school has go ahead and run that command so basically like I said that is how you run a simple command and another thing I want to take note of is that SQL the language is typed standard in all capital letters now the only thing that's not going to be in capital letters is table names and column names those are going to be in lowercase but all of the language itself for example like the keywords those are going to be typed in all capital letters by standard now if you already are in a database for example are if you already are in the database Danielle YouTube and when I say in the database in order to get in a database then I mean like if you have the database selected already then let's go ahead and run some simple commands from here so let's go ahead and select our Danielle underscore YouTube and hop over to this SQL tab now now that we have this database selected let's see what tables we have in this database so I'm gonna go ahead and run the command show tables and I'm gonna go ahead and hit go and see what tables we have in here well right now we only have the customers tables so that is basically what the command does whenever you hit show tables it basically returns a list of tables for the currently selected database which was in this case Danielle underscore YouTube so what if we want to I don't know see all the column names for a specific table well of course go up to this SQL and again make sure we're going to be working in Danielle underscore YouTube for the rest of these tutorials. So basically I want to say I want to see all of the column names from the table customers because remember customers if we click on it we can see that it has ID, name, address, city, state, and zip but we want to do it through SQL because that's what we're learning. So go ahead in your SQL tab and in order to do that hit show columns I always spell columns wrong from and remember like I said the language SQL is all in caps but your table names are in lowercase so customers so show columns from customers whenever you run this command what it's gonna do is it's gonna return the names of the columns for example ID name address city state zip basically those categories as well as some other information and we'll cover this other other information later on this is the type of data in like I said I'm gonna be covering this later on but one key thing I want to point out is this PRI that stands for primary key now remember in the first tutorial I told you guys about primary key was pretty much the one thing in your table that you can't have repeated so if we look it says the ID was the primary key and that's why all of these numbers are unique but anyways let's go ahead and learn a few more commands so as you can see already probably that SQL it isn't you know a weird computer program language that you're gonna need an interpreter for it's made up of these keywords that are pretty much written in plain English very easy to understand 
Now, one of the most common commands that we're going to be working with is the select command, S-E-L-E-C-T. Now, what this command does is pretty much select the information or data that you want. So let me go ahead and hop over to this customer's table real quick. You see that this customer's table has a bunch of information on it. ID numbers, names, addresses, city, states, zip. So let's go ahead and select one of these columns. So of course, SQL. And I'm going to go ahead and select, what can I select? City from customers. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this and then I'm going to talk about it. So go ahead and hit go. And as you can see, from our customers table, it returns all of the cities. So anytime you ran a query, you can either look at that query right here, or if you want to see it exactly like you typed it, hit show query box and that's going to go ahead and show your query. But for the purposes of this tutorial, or excuse me, for the purposes of this query, I'm just going to go ahead and read right from here. So what the select statement does is it pretty much selects what information do you want and you type this right after select. So we want to select the city from and from is a keyword what table. So basically we wanted to select what information the city from what table customers it's our only table we have to work with right now and there you go there you have it the results of our query and by the way I probably should have mentioned this a while ago. Whenever I say query, I just mean a command or instruction that we're telling my SQL to do. So that's what query means. I, I know I said it for like the last five minutes, I didn't explain, but it's pretty much an instruction. What we've been typing in are all queries.